Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany Noel if you're new here. Um, and if you don't mind by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel, I would love to have you all back. And today's video is gonna be our January wrap up. Y'all, I have read nine books for January 2024. So I definitely believe that we're starting the year off strong and I'm very happy and pleased with the amount of books that I've read um, because it honestly didn't feel like I read nine books. When I re did a recap, I'm like, wow, I actually read nine books. So just a disclaimer, I have eight of the physical books here with me. One of them I do not have. I read it on my Kindle, which was a short novella, and that was called um, Spin About You, and I will put that right here. I will put that right here. Um, and I did end up writing that a fourth star. Um, so if you all wanted to read that book, please check it out. It's by a black, um, it's a black author and her work is phenomenal. I can't wait to read more by her. The second one that I have here is Twisted Love by Anna or Anna Huang. Absolutely love this, ate it up. I rated this a four star. I cannot wait to read the second book in the series, which is Twisted Games. Quick disclaimer, I am sorry if y'all hear my one year old in the background. It is 9:22 at night and she doesn't want to go to sleep and the show must go on so i hope you all get to see guide that but yeah so the first book i wanted to write you all was twisted love this is book one of the twisted love series and yeah ate it up you all should definitely read this the second book i have here is a short novella it's called take a chance by mia gomez i rated this did i rate this four stars or five stars i ended up rating this a four star it's a short novella i believe this was only about oh this with acknowledgments about 63 pages and it was really really good really enjoyed this um and if you all are coming from another genre you just want to get into romance but you're not trying to get into nothing really heavy this is a good segue to that Another book that we read this uh, for the month of January was Akatar. I actually rated this um, four stars by Sarah J. Mass. I'm actually in the middle of reading A Court of Mist and Fury right now. Absolutely eating it up. I love it so, so much. Definitely find myself loving A Court of Mist and Fury more than I like at Akatar. But nonetheless, I rated this a four star. So this definitely is a must read that you all need in your reading catalog. Another one we read was Their Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. I rated this a four star. Y'all, this is a thriller uh, with a, a hit of romance just like a little splash. Um, I am still trying to get into thrillers. Now, the thing is, I really enjoy thrillers. I love I love the plot, I love everything about it. I am just scared. I am scary. So if you're like me and you like thrillers, like you like, you know, thriller type of movies, but you're still scared, this is a good one for you because it's not too, too scary. It definitely keeps you on the edge of your seat. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought I, I I liked it. I don't know what else to say about it, but I definitely think this is something that you all should have in your TBR. Another book that we read for the month of January was The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. I ended up rating this one a three star. Absolutely loved it. Um, I did do a whole um, review on that book that that blog is actually coming out tomorrow so if you want to know my thoughts on why i rated it a three star then check out that blog that i just posted um however this was good i definitely think this is something you should read and kennedy bryant is an absolute auto buy for me like i don't care what she writes i don't care how long how thick how short how small the her books are i'm going to read it because she is just that that good so the, how many was that so far? One, two, three, four, five. I already told you about Spin About You, so that's six. So we are on our seventh one. This one is called Only for the Week by Natasha Bishop, y'all. And I believe I rated this a five star. This was a five star read for me, honey. The ultimate book boyfriend, Rome, the ultimate book boyfriend um for a um independent black successful woman if you're looking for something like that that's her right here that is her what is her name again um it's been a, a little minute since i read this so forgive me what is her name Janelle, Janelle, Janelle is that girl. Black excellence, absolutely love Janelle. And Rome, 
you just have to read it for yourself this is a auto buy for me like i feel as though just because of this book i need way more of natasha bishop books on my shelves and on my kindle so please do not be alarmed when you start seeing so much more of her books on my shelves <laughs> um another one we have was fast by millie belazare i rated this for four or five i rated this five stars y'all this book you literally need to take your time when reading this check the trigger warnings okay and if it's something that you think that you can get through this book right here is so good i absolutely loved it let me tell you something what was her name caprice this girl i am so proud of her she is a true definition of overcoming every odds overcoming all the odds and everything that stood against her she is she is the epitome of that okay so if you're okay with the trigger warnings you need to read this okay um the other one is this the last one yep the um the finale <laughs> is going to be i am playing by rebecca yaros y'all oh my god ate this up i can i cannot wait i cannot wait for the third book of fourth wing to come out i don't know when i don't know I have no clue when the third book is coming out, but I absolutely love this so much. Completely, completely ate it up. Y'all, this is over 800 page book and I wish it was longer. I did not want it to end. Y'all, did I just not say it was over 800 pages? Cause it's definitely not. Y'all, this was only 623 pages. So what made me think this book was over 800? I have no clue, but I did read this off my Kindle though. So that could definitely make a difference possibly. I don't know, but completely ate this book up y'all. It was so good, okay? So yes, you all, that is my January wrap up. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you read any of these books or if you plan to add any of these to your TBR. Until next time, my friends, bye.